What's up, Lucha Gang? We back. Hey! Yes, sir. Hey, you know what we made. We got the Pastor Johnny. What's up, Lil Chuck? Lil Chucky from that El Paso. Of course, Mike Silver, but you know what it is? You know what we made? We made it in heaven, baby. Amen. Hold up, baby. We're going to go give them heaven in Big Spring, Texas. Jesus' name. Come on, Uh, come on, let's go. Oh, Water skills gone, doing the noodle. That was me. 
I was in the middle of the street doing all that, thinking I, I own the world. And then here comes all these voices, all, I, I, the, the best way I can explain it, have you guys ever been so anxiety down, like all them thoughts, all that stuff, awareness, you just want to go away, so you feel like it's like crushing you? That's how I felt when you're demon oppressed, that's what was happening to me. And here they come, from everywhere, I'm like, man, how do we get away from this? So I scream at the top of my lungs, Jesus Christ, I love you, God! And I answered back for him, I love you too, Mike. And that's how I heard his voice. Because he said he knew what he knew I was gonna say that because he knows everything you're gonna say before you say it. And, and and let me put some substance behind that. In the Bible it says all those who confess with their mouth that Jesus is Lord will be saved. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't say think, he says confess, he says make noise. Jesus cross. So he showed me that my voice is louder than any voice of any demon. Your voice is louder than any voice of doubt. Your voice is louder than any voice of discouragement. Just cross because it gives that to you. Speak life into yourself. Speak truth into yourself. That's what God was telling me when I was answering for him. So have you guys ever prayed a prayer? Lord, Father, God, Jesus Christ, I love you. And you get that thought, I love you too? Who's ever thought that thought back when you pray? Have you guys ever thought that thought, I love you too? Well, instead of thinking it, I would say it. Lord, Father, God, I love you. I love you too, my. Lord, Father God, I'm afraid. And I think, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. So now, I'm talking to God. Lord, Father God, I love you. I love you too, man. Go take this way. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid, man. Everyone's like, man, you're talking to yourself. I'm like, boy, I'm talking to God. Hey. Boy, I'm talking to God. <laughs> because you're trying to kill me. Because you don't understand. Because you're against me. I'm talking to God. When no man or no woman can help you, call on God. And he'll directly touch your life. He will directly touch your life. I don't care what anybody thinks about you, what anybody says, it's your own personal relationship. Don't let this world take it from you. Don't let this world call you crazy. Because that's what they was calling me, man. You're crazy. You're talking to yourself. Boy, I'm talking to God. And logic will say, that's your conscience. Logic will say, that's your conscience speaking. Oh, man, that's your conscience. You feel guilty for that. You feel this. If you hear that still small voice in your heart saying, man, you're a good person. You're going to be okay. And you start arguing with it. I'm not a good person. like, yes, you are, man. Who are you? Ask God. Especially when it's leading you to God. When it's telling you, man, talk to that person. Go talk to that pastor. Go do this. Go to that program. And you're like, man, I'm not, I'm not worthy. That is God. That still small voice, that is God. Don't let this rule say it's logic. Don't let this rule say it's your conscience. It's not your conscience. Everything that is good comes from God. Who believes me? Who believes me? I want to say, I want to say one thing because God puts it in my mind right now. I remember one time I was in prison and we were out to do the most and I was going to lay down on my bed. I said, like, they Lord, Father God, protect me. <laughs> Just cool. Hey, real gangsters, you guys do that. You guys do that. The realest gangsters in the world do that. Let me tell you why, because sometimes we don't feel we're going to live till tomorrow. So we tell God, man, we're sorry, man. We just can't help it. We just can't help it. Just cross. So I'm out there, I'm hearing God through my own voice. And, I'm, and now I'm at my mom's house, and my sister comes in, and she puts the key down. She comes in with her sister's baby dad's mom's car. And she puts the key down. And I'm like, man, oh my gosh, should I take the car? And then it's like, yeah, take the car, go tell everybody you're seeing Jesus Christ and the angels. Go to Hollywood and tell the world, I'm like, God, is that you? You're telling me to take the car. And then, boom, this is what saying gets me. But this is what God using what Satan tried to use for good. What Satan tried to use for bad, God's going to use it for good. Boom, saying gets me. I jump in the car and I take it. And the cops, they find me like in 42.2 seconds. I'm like, man, God, are you mad at me? Like, how did they find me so fast? And the cop comes, and he knocks on the window, and I'm already yelling Jesus Christ at everything. So he comes, and he knocks on the window. I roll it down. Jesus Christ! He's like, whoa. I'm like, whoa. I was like, how you find me so fast? He said the car had GPS. I was like, whoa. Jesus Christ! But that's how good God was. From the beginning of time, he knew I was going to steal a car, so he made sure I wouldn't hurt nobody, so he made sure that I stole the car they, had, they, they were tracking. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, but that's what God does, though. He outdoes the devil on every level. He outdoes the devil on every level. He outdoes the devil on every level. Everybody say that. He outdoes the devil on every level. 
He outdoes the devil on every level. That's what he does. So I go to, so before I go further, I'm gonna give you guys something so you guys can, I'm talking for so long, you guys might forget why I scream Jesus Christ. And here is another reason why I scream Jesus Christ, and this is gonna stick for, with you guys forever. So I tell God, I say, God, how do I fight against a voice when I hear it? How do I fight against a demon when I see him? How do I fight against feeling like somebody's following me? He said, I do this. You hear a voice? Jesus Christ! You see a demon? Jesus Christ! You feel like somebody's following you? Jesus Christ! So you better believe I was out there. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Before anything ever went by, I was like, what you doing? I'm fighting my demons! And I'm winning! Jesus Christ! Come on! So every time I felt afraid, Jesus Christ! Every time I felt paranoid, Jesus Christ! All those feelings of being uncertain, I was screaming the name of God, Jesus Christ! And he won my mind by just saying his name. He won it. Because when I couldn't think no more, and them demons were just too loud, and I didn't know which way was what, which way was that, like, you know, you get so high, sometimes you can't even talk, sometimes you're like, like, what's wrong, I don't know, so dehydrated. Jesus Christ, that's what happened when you see high like that. But I was over, but I was always able to say, Jesus Christ, I love you, God. Jesus Christ, find my demons and win me. So the message I want to give you guys today is that there ain't no way any demon in hell, any devil, can be louder than the voice that God blessed you with. You got the power of life and death in your voice. So speak life over yourself and bring death to the demons in your life. You know what that means? You die to your flesh. That's what that means. Just cool. Sunday vibes. Can we match in? You guys, it is Whoa. Sunday. Lucky came back from, where were you, Big Springs? Yesterday. We are on our way to Waco right now. So we're gonna be going all day. We're not gonna be at home. We got the truck fully loaded. <laughs> What our children, their little munchkins. And yeah, we're about to pull up to his house. Ooh. And we got the big black CD on there. His house is a church, but like just the people of the church are amazing. Their energy is always on 100. So I'm excited. They always show up and show out and they get crunk. So I can't wait for y'all to see. They are putting on an event. Shout out to my sister Stella because she has been in contact and she said it's gonna be packed. So, you know, when we pull up, we'll show y'all. Right now, we're like an hour and a half away. Hey, but even if it ain't packed, we're coming to meet, reach, reach some souls, you know what I'm saying? So, if it's five people or 500 people, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we can touch one person, you know what I'm saying? They might have thought they're coming for a rap concert, but they coming to get an encounter with God, you know what I'm saying? Amen. Come on, somebody, somebody, come on. <laughs> Shout out to Rhino for taking care of my hubby while he was out at Big Spring. me with some new shades. Hey. hey, when I was in Florida last week, I left my Gucci glasses in there. Shout out to Christian. I told him he could have them. I left them in his car. They fell out my pocket when he was taking me to the airport. So he got blessed with some new glasses. And then when I was in Rhino, yeah, I mean, when I was in Rhino, when I was in Big Spring yesterday with Rhino, he blessed me with a brand new pair of Sachi glasses. So shout out to Rhino. So when we pull up, we gonna bring y'all with us like we always do. But before we get further into this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, man. We come through with the positive content and just showing y'all a lot of the behind the scenes of ministry work along with our life. Our life with our children, our hectic life with our children and business. Um, so we'll see you in a bit, you guys. Y'all ready, kids? My little missionaries. Why you tell us to wear hoodies? I know it's hot. It's so hot. Even okay, really well, take your hoodies off. That's all y'all got to do. Y'all don't got to complain. Shoot. Sure. I'm sure there's somebody out there freezing right now somewhere in this world wishing they had a hoodie. We made it. Houston was asleep. We made it. We uh, waiting for Kelly Jean and Baby Roe in the car over there. And we about to go check into our hotel and get situated and head to the event. Roro! Come here, Roro! Yeah. Yeah. Say, what's up, Luchi gang? Yeah. 
Oh yeah. He's so cool, right? <laughs> Say hi. Hey, Roro. All right, hold on. Let me use the bathroom. <laughs> How, I got a question. Why are teenagers so weird at 14 oh years old? They just y'all remember when he had his bangs and he'd be like, "Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kingston. Uh, I'm gonna be cooking today." And now he just thinks he's too cool for school. Come on, y'all check out the view though. Hey, God is good. You know what I'm saying? Come on, somebody, somebody, come on. It's not like grandpa. Oh. What's up, Sella? Sella. <laughs> Hey, he got scared. He's like, hold on, what happened? Sorry, I was a little high for you. I'm sorry. Oh, now you're happy. Now you're happy. You got some donuts. And then, of course, y'all already know. Love when y'all come to his house, we got a hoodie over there. Hey! So, y'all know the welcome basket over here. <laughs> y'all want to come tear this up for the fam. And then, we also have more snacks and ice drinks at your table outside. Good throw, Houston. We want to thank y'all for coming out. I hope you enjoy yourself. We want you to know that his house is your house. That his house is your house. We're here Sundays at 10 o'clock in the morning. We want to let you know that this is a place. Hey, we got to support his house. Let's go do it, y'all. What are we doing right now, Sella? Right now, we is in Cold Town, Waco, Texas. Two, five, four. With his house, Waco Tip Out Church. And Lucky finna bring Jesus down to Waco. You know what I'm saying? He about to shower us with some big blessed CDs. Look, he about to chunk some CDs real quick. Hey, 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 hey. Big Blessed album. If you ain't got it already, you need to go get it right now. Streaming on all digital platforms. Already, already. Y'all put, put some positive vibes in your mind, you know what I'm saying? We've been polluting our minds with all this negative music that's going on right now, you know what I'm saying? We need some, some good positivity in our minds, you know what I'm saying? Give me while I'm lacking, I ain't talking no to Bill. Dusting all my dirt off, it ain't lucky he has risen. Give me while I'm shining at the buzzer, I'ma switch it. I ain't falling off no more, I learned my lessons from the past. He say, okay, now you got it, boy, you got them demons mad. Keep on doing what you're doing, keep on bringing them the truth. Open up that Bible, stay connected to it. didn't come and do no show, we come to win these souls. That one lost soul, you know what I'm saying? God hears your prayer. You know what I'm saying? Let this be confirmation that God heard your prayer when you was praying to him. He heard you. I pray for all these families right here, Lord. You bless them from the smallest to the tallest, Lord. You protect them and you keep them safe on their way home. In Jesus' mighty name. Check one, two, check. Hey, look, check it out. Maybe, maybe you have already accepted Christ in your heart, right? Maybe you're already walking with him, but something in your life that has a hindrance. Maybe God is trying to pull you back. Maybe you distance yourself from Christ a little bit, and God is calling you back. He wants to renew you.